Hello guys, today I want to talk about file uploads and specifically what happens if you allow people to upload files with the same file name and does it override the old file names and how to overcome that with various ways. So by default, for example, you have a registration form. I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill it in and we have avatar and someone uploads the file with avatar.png as the file name. It is fine. You register and then I've built a user list with avatar here on the left. So this is uploaded successfully. And in the code, what developers often do is just uploading the file name with trusting that the client original name is correct and not malicious. This, by the way, can be insecure. And this is mentioned in the Laravel documentation itself. And I will link that section in the description below. But if you want to preserve the original file name, that may be fine. But then we have a problem. What if someone else registers with the same file name? So the file actually is uploaded in storage app public avatars as avatar.png. Try to register with another user. So again, fake filler Chrome extension, but we upload a different avatar from different folder, but with the same file name, avatar.png, we register. And then in the user's table, what do we see? We see overridden file. So the old avatar is blindly overridden and is even deleted from the server. So this is the problem. Now, how to solve it in the code in a few different ways. And I have asked my colleague Nerius to create three different branches to the same project. So you can see the repository is public and the link will be in the description below. So we have branch one, two, and three. One of them will be renaming the file. Second will be creating a subfolder. And third will be using Spidey Media Library to solve it all. So one by one, branch one has this code. So instead of just blindly uploading, we have this. So if we have avatar, then we build the file name from the file name itself without extension, then dash user ID, which we have from here from the registration, and then extension, the original extension. This is, by the way, also considered insecure. And again, the link about that will be in the description below and how to solve it as well. So then we store that file publicly with the file name in the public driver and we update the user. So if we do that and we register with the avatar, again, fake filler, again, avatar here, and we register and we go to our storage. We have storage app public avatar 14 PNG, which represents the user ID. So this is a way to prevent the file duplication, adding some kind of identifier, which could be probably ID or another unique key related to that particular file or its record in the database. Another way which you can see in branch two is this one. So you can store the file immediately in the folder of avatars user ID, which we get from the registration. So you still save the file name in the database as original name, but you store the file with original name again in public in user ID subfolder. So if I try to register again now with fake filler, then go avatar register. And if we go to the PHP storm again, we have storage app, public avatars, and then subfolder of avatar PNG. So that's another way to make files unique and avoid duplication. And the third way, which you can see in branch three is using an external package, a really popular one, Spati Laravel media library, this one, when you install the package, then you have to run migrations and then all the media files are stored in the media database table with polymorphic relationships. Then you need to update your user model to have has media and interacts with media. And then in your controller, all you need to do to upload the file is this. So if we have the avatar, we add the media from request with input name to media collection avatars. Let's take a look where the file actually lands and with which file name. So again, register, fake filler, avatar PNG, register, and we have storage app public and then folder one, which is not one for user ID, but one for the actual file. So each file has its own folder with unique ID. And then inside we have avatar.png, 
although we're not specifically using get client original name or anything like that. And in the database, instead of having avatar PNG here for all the users, for all the previous examples, for the user ID 16, we have media database table with the file attached to model ID, which is user ID 16. And here's the file name avatar PNG. So with first few examples, they were kind of workarounds around the same problem. But what I would advise in the end is do use Spotty Media Library because it's convenient and it will solve a lot of problems for you under the hood, including you can do thumbnails. So for example, resize and make smaller copies of the same file with just a few lines of code. And there are a lot of other ways how you can manipulate the files. You can read about it all in Spotty Media Library documentation, which I will also link in the description below. Would you agree with my suggestion? Or what did you do personally to avoid file name duplication? And what is the structure how you store those files in subfolders? And then what is the logic of those subfolders? Share in the comments below. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.